kidding myself Now I know you don't love me Even though you said That you'd never leave me Oh, but I know now I shouldn't trust a word that comes out of your mouth I was kidding myself Why did you have to turn into a liar? Now you're gone right away from me Leaving me on my own Can't you see? You had my heart in your eyes Why did you go? Why did you have to turn into a liar? Like this, don't know what happened to you. Put my trust in you. Guess that I couldn't do that. Oh, but I know now. I shouldn't trust a word that comes out of your mouth. I was kidding myself. Why did you have to turn into a liar? Now you're gone, ran away from me. video. Today's video is coming at you starting off unconventionally on a Wednesday evening. So the start of this week has just been a little bit manic as has the rest of the day. I did film a few clips earlier in the day so I think you might have seen a little bit of my morning workout. It was just me so Adam totally blitzed my glutes and quads. I'm definitely going to be feeling that tomorrow. And then I headed, headed is that a real word? Then I head to the Corinthia Hotel where System Professional were launching a new hair care range which is a really fabulous range, 13 new products all designed with really conditioning the hair in mind. There's a BB range, a CC range and a DD range. We have until March to wait for those to come out but I've already tried out the dry shampoo and one of the beauty balms so looking forward to really road testing those. I will keep you updated as to how I get along with them. Then it was just a day full of meetings followed by a session with Topshop where we discovered their denim launches for the new year um, and also their men's launch as well which is really good fun. I am now all dressed up as you may be able to tell heading to the Park Plaza Hotel because it is the Johnson & Johnson Beauty awards tonight and I am somehow nominated for two awards which is incredible I do not know how that happened I believe the official names of the awards are best use of social media and best beauty youtuber which is incredible chances of me winning I would say are very very slim Johnson Johnson awards are probably the most prestigious UK blog awards and they're definitely the awards taken the most seriously by the beauty industry so to even be nominated I'm quite flabbergasted <laughs> but um yeah so I'm excited to take you along to that I've just ordered an uber it's two minutes away so I'm going to give you a very quick outfit of the evening Okie dokie, so this is the dress that I'm wearing this evening. It's a beautiful, kind of leafy, floral, detailed dress from Chi Chi London. I love 
this detail around the waist. I've been waiting for so long to wear this dress. I've had it on my rail for about three weeks now. Just absolutely love it. And then my shoes, wearing my little Valentinos, unsurprisingly, my gold ones. And then I have got my Chloe handbag, which is pretty much my go-to for events. I just had to very quickly wash my hair because I've been out all day and hadn't had a chance to wash it after the gym. So it's a little bit fluffy at the moment, but I just quickly whizzed over it with a steam pod so it's not looking too bad. And then I've accessorized with a few bracelets you can see on each wrist from the new Monica Vinader Fiji collection. And I also have these beautiful hoop earrings and it would be better if I showed you this way these hoop earrings which I absolutely love these are also from the Monica Vinander Fiji collection and I think they're probably my favorite pieces but yeah that's my taxi here so I'll see you at the award. So I've just made it into the uh, Park Plaza Hotel where the awards are taking place it's all in that room there but I've just come into this little kind of product area where we can see some of the most infamous I guess and favorite Johnson & Johnson products but so many of my things that I use like on a daily basis I almost forgot with J&J like this I use every single day um, and it's amazing obviously Johnson's baby shampoo Neutrogena face wipes so that's got Aveeno I used the Aveeno um, spray moisturiser like 10 minutes ago before I got here face wipes so many different things and then there's the Neutrogena LED light um, face mask which I've not tried yet oh and Piss Boy if you've been watching my YouTube channel for a long time, you'll know that I was a Pisbuin Sun Ambassador a couple of years ago. Blast from the past, still love these products. Nominee for social media star are oh. Blurred Thoughts, Fashion Mumbler, and Emma Sheldon. So the winner of this category is consistent, has a signature style, articulates all of her content to a very high standard, and receives strong engagement from her followers. The style is sophisticated, and you can clearly see she puts a lot of thought into her content. Her execution of her photography and videos are extremely high and I love that she features reviews and sponsored products so naturally within her content. So, the winner is... Fashion. Oh my god, I'm coming today. Definitely didn't prepare any other speech and I'm quite tempted to talk with them. Let's see what happens. Use your time. Thank you very much to the judges and to Dr. Just arrived back home, reunited with my sweet little boys, and I have no words for what has happened this evening. Oh, Dixie, I just tried to jump up on the sofa and epically failed. I was nominated for Best Beauty YouTuber. That was won by Fleur de Force. Well done, Fleur. And also, I know, baby also social media star 2018 and the other nominees were Fleur and M Sheldon and I am oh, and I am pleased to reveal and I am now the proud owner of the Johnson & Johnson award for best social media star 2018 which is Insane, can't quite believe that that has happened. Sophie Hannah Richardson was presenting the award and well, I recorded it so hopefully you will have just seen it, but she said that the judges were really impressed with the quality and consistency and regularity of my content um, and they really liked how I seamlessly integrated sponsor content in with organic content, which I think as a content creator is the ultimate compliment and pat on the back I guess it's always that fine balance obviously working with brands is my job but I want it to fit in seamlessly with my content so for that to be recognized I was very very grateful for overall just an amazing evening so many incredible and inspiring women both presenting the awards judging the awards all the nominees all the winners it was such a lovely evening and so much positivity so I feel very very grateful to have been involved and thank you so 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 much to Johnson & Johnson for my award. I'm gonna put it up on the shelves next to my 2016 Best Emerging Beauty YouTuber Award. What do you think, Dickie? Here is my 2016 Best Emerging Blogger. And now, in pride of place, I can tell I'm going to be really OCD at cleaning this. 2018, 
social media star. I've just had a little peek inside the goodie bag from the award ceremony, of course filled with lots of lovely J&J &J goodies. So I'm gonna have a double cleanse with two of the products from the goodie bags. Starting off with the Face Care Makeup Be Gone Wipes from Johnson Johnson. These are the pampering ones, which I don't think I've tried before. And then, because I don't like using only face wipes, definitely not thorough enough after a lot of makeup and a day in the city, I'm gonna use the Neutrogena Visibly Clear Pink Grapefruit Daily Scrub. Helps eliminate and prevent spots and blackheads with a clean, fresh feel. That sounds good to me. I did pretty much the same makeup this evening as I did in my Valentine's Day Get Ready With Me video. So if you haven't seen Monday's video, no, Sunday's video, um, then check that out if you want to see how I got this look because it's basically my go-to evening slash slightly more effort than daytime makeup look. <laughs> oh, it smells so good. I like that this is firming up as well as having little beads in there. I feel like I'm getting a real deep cleanse as well as an exfoliation. What you need after a long day. I've just run downstairs to take my pasta off the hob because that had been cooking for far too long. But I just finished off my evening skincare with my Liz Earl Super Skin Oil, which I love when I feel like my skin needs a little bit of pampering. So that was my speedy evening routine. I spent too much time talking tonight and not enough time eating the canapes. And normally I love canapes, so gutted that I was too busy chatting. But I'm gonna have some pasta, go to bed, and then tomorrow is a really fun day. So I will see you in the morning. Good morning, it is Thursday and I've started off the day at my favorite London hotel, the Savoy. I've just left, forgot to take my vlogging camera in with me, but it's a really, really lovely start to the morning. Ted Baker have a beautiful wedding collection. They have wedding dresses, they have bridesmaid dresses, of course, wedding shoes, bridesmaid shoes, which are personalizable with your date or initials underneath them, and so many stunning wedding dresses. They start at 399 and the quality of them, the materials they're using, the pleating, it's just absolutely gorgeous. So I went to their event, which was in one of the suites at the Savoy. Um, also got my nails done by Dry Vice. So they're looking absolutely beautiful. Nice bridal themed manicure. I'll insert a couple of clips here that I filmed on my phone while I was inside, so you can see some of the beautiful dresses. Now heading to the Tate Britain, I'm gonna catch up with the girls there and we're grabbing a minibus to the Cotswolds, going on a lovely trip with IT Cosmetics, which I'm really looking forward to. Nice excuse to escape the city and just have some fresh air, a bit of girly time. So I'll see you shortly. So we've just arrived at Fox Hill Manor, which is in the Cotswolds, with the girls from IT Cosmetics. I spent the whole two and a half hour bus journey just chatting away with Freddie. We had a good catch up. We're both wearing the same jumper today, which is very tragic. Um, but I just nipped into the toilette to sort my face out and give you a very quick outfit for day. This is my travel outfit. I was wearing a little jumper from Topshop, Ted Baker crossbody bag, and then these are my Kate Spit trow trousers and my little Reese shoes, both of which are sadly sold out, but I think this jumper is still in stock. Freddie and I naturally rocked up wearing <laughs> the same jumper. I burst out laughing when I saw Josie. <laughs> I Jason. didn't even notice when we yeah. the bus and I was like, why are you laughing at me? And I purposely didn't bring this handbag because I knew Freddie would bring it. Imagine. And, and, and this is my trousers, mine is nowhere near as stylish. So, so we now have a SAS class. I have no idea what that's going to be. I hope it's We're hoping dancing. it's not hip-hop. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, so me cool. and Freddie hip-hop dancing. Oh no, I die, oh. I die. <laughs> we will see. Let's do it. So we finished our SAS class and oh my goodness, it was so much fun. We did a whole routine to Beyonce, Run the World, and oh my goodness, we were all releasing our inner hip-hop dancer and it was so much fun. Um, we've now been shown to our rooms. We are split, so quite a big group, we're split between Fox Hill Manor, which is where we did the class, and Dormy House, which is, they're all part of the same um, company, but Dormy House is five minute drive down the road. And they've just been shown to, I say room, but it's actually a whole cottage, feeling very, very spoilt. Um, it's called Rose Cottage, which is so lovely. So I'll give you a little tour. I should have filmed my first tour around here because I was squealing every single room that I went into. And there's so many treats. So we've got, we've got something here for in the morning. So everything is 
based on the times that we're here. This one is for tomorrow morning. There's some lipsticks to try out. We've got some coffee machine bits and bobs over here. A beautiful little It Cosmetics makeup case. Perfect big mirror here to do my makeup in in the morning. And of course, I'll be using my IT Cosmetic CC Cream, which you guys know I absolutely love. We've got their Bye Bye Under Eye, their Eyebrow Pencil, their Bye Bye Pores Powder, all of my favorite products. I will definitely be having a soak in the tub later. <gasps> Look at this. Got the IT Cosmetics Cleanser, Moisturizer, and Under Eye Cream. And then, for this evening, this is my bedroom. How adorable is this? And I have some personalized pajamas. How cute is that? It says Josie embroidered on there. That is so adorable. So the whole trip is all based around having confidence in yourself and encouraging confidence with other girls and how the products, whether you have makeup on or you don't have any makeup on, it's all about just feeling totally confident in your skin. And I think because the products were developed with a plastic surgeon with skincare in mind, it really does help to make you feel confident with or without makeup. So it's a really, really lovely brand to be here with and I'm feeling very, very spoilt already. So thank you, It Cosmetics. I am now gonna hop into my swimming costume because I I think Freddie and I are going to check out the outdoor hot tub. <laughs> Lovely hot tub experience and a fabulous pampering shower. We had a delicious dinner, and now all the girls are in the cinema room at Foxhall Manor for our sweeties. And it's time for movie night. <laughs> good morning. It is Friday. Last night was really good fun. We had a girly sleepover with all the other bloggers that are at the event, and we all have these personalised. Josie, white company pajamas. Such a fun evening. I've just cleansed my skin and I thought I would do a very quick, very natural get ready with me. Of course, I'm using It Cosmetics. This is Confidence in a Cream, it's a best selling moisturizer, anti aging. For me, this is a really good moisturizer when my skin, my skin isn't bad, um, but I just want something really comfortable and it's going to make my skin feel amazing, look amazing. It Cosmetics was developed with plastic surgeons, so all the products have skincare in them, nothing in there is going to aggravate the skin. It's all about nourishing and making you feel your best. What I love about this moisturiser is that you feel like you're getting all the nourishment from a really thick, juicy moisturiser, but then it sinks in so quickly because your skin just absorbs all the goodness and you're ready to do your makeup in just a few minutes. And then, again anti-aging, the confidence in an eye cream. This is great for brightening and repairing the under eye area. So any problems that you might have with the under eye, I use about that much. And because it's quite a thick cream, you wanna keep it quite far from the actual eye. So really just on the bone, the eye bone. Tap it in. If I sound a bit groggy, it's because I haven't had my coffee yet this morning. <laughs> Half asleep. So I'm gonna go and make my coffee, give this two minutes to sink in, and then I will show you my very natural everyday makeup routine. Okay, I'm back and feeling a little bit more alive now. I've had some coffee. So the first thing I'm going to apply onto my cleansed and moisturized skin is the It Cosmetics CC Cream. You don't actually need to use a moisturizer with this as well, unless you really want to, or if like me, you were in a hot tub yesterday and your skin feels ultra dry, but you don't need anything. You can miss out your primer, you can miss out your moisturizer, because this is a serum, a primer, a moisturizer, an SPF, and a foundation all in one. I would say the coverage is medium, and it took me quite a long time to try this because I think when it first came out I was very much only wanting full coverage and I thought that a CC cream wouldn't be enough for me but as you're about to see, my skin's a little bit red um, in the mornings, it is very good coverage. I think I'm going to use a beauty blender. So this is a colour corrector as well, so any redness or if you've got any purple or blue tones under the eyes it will just correct all of that. You can see instantly my redness is neutralized. They're bringing out some new shades of this. You can see for a CC cream, which is skincare 
and foundation in one. This coverage is amazing and still really nice and dewy. Color Correcting Full Coverage Cream plus Anti-Aging Hydrating Serum SPF 50, UVA, UVB, Your Skin But Better. Today I don't really have that bad at eye bags, which is amazing for me. Um, must be all the It Cosmetics eye cream, but I'm still gonna use a little bit of Bye Bye Under Eye. This is a very, very full coverage concealer for under the eyes. I have the shade Light, you can see there. I use about a third of a grain of rice because I don't want too much product under the eye, but this does not crease. That's why this is so loved amongst makeup lovers and beauty bloggers because it just will not crease under the eyes which is always a bit of a telltale sign and just makes your face look worse if you have your under eye wrinkles accentuated by your concealer. So I don't want my skin to get shiny and I don't want my makeup to slide off but at the same time I don't want to be totally mattified so I'm going to use the Bye Bye Pores Pressed Powder. This is a translucent powder, doesn't even feel like a powder, um, really really lightweight and I'm just going to pop that all over to set my makeup and then I'm going to bronze I like to just do the complexion first and then move on to things like brows and eyes and lips so I'm going to use my Bare Minerals Invisible Bronze this one is a really natural colour good for every day it's not like a super dark bronze it just brings a little bit of warmth to the complexion and Bare Minerals I'd say is another one that you can be assured that the makeup isn't doing anything bad for your skin because it's all mineral based so now that I've got some colour in my complexion, I'm going to use the IT Cosmetics Brow Power. This has got a spoolie on one end and a brow crayon in the other, and it's a universal taupe shade. So no matter what shade your eyebrows are, this colour is for you. Don't ask me how it works, because every other brow pencil there are like a thousand shades. But this one, I don't know if you can see that very clearly, but it's like a taupey grey shade, and it just works on everyone. Setting them with my Glossier Boy Brow. Then I'm going to take a shade from the By Terry Game Changer palette. This has got lots of really nice brownie nudes and I'm going to go for this kind of mushroom shade today. For everyday makeup I just tend to take one eyeshadow shade and just wipe it all over the lid for a little bit of definition. And then I would usually use Roller Lash in brown, I bought the black one with me stupidly, um, but I'm going to try the IT Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. I've heard really good things about this and I'm here with IT Cosmetics so it'd be rude not to. Really nice bristly brush, as you can see it's a little bit shaped so I should be able to get in to the edges. I mean already that is amazing. <laughs> I've literally done four strokes of mascara and look at the difference, oh my god. Okay, I can definitely see what all the fuss is about. This mascara is amazing. It's really like opened up my eyes, it's added a lot of length, no clumpiness. The next step is when I brush my teeth. This is my handy travel size toothbrush. I think the brand is called Sonic Chic, but they're just so handy and they're electric toothbrushes, which is great. And then I have Marvis toothpaste, in case you're wondering. And the reason why I do this next is because I need to get rid of the foundation lips and then put on my lip balm. So then the last thing I do for a very natural everyday makeup look is my lips. And what I tend to do for my everyday makeup is use a tinted lip balm. I've got three favorites. The one that I've had as my favorite for the longest is the Galan Petit Robe Noir lip balm like this. And this is just a really lovely soft pink shade. So that one usually lives in my handbag or I pop it on first thing in the morning. A new addition to my collection is the Dior Addict Lip Glow in the shade 004 Coral. The packaging on this one I absolutely love. It's in this pink bullet, and then this is more of a corally color. I would say it's quite a summery color. Um, when I've got a tan, I absolutely love it. But today I think I'm gonna use my By Terry Nudissimo. This is in the shade number one. Got this a little while ago after lusting for it for so long. Again, really beautiful packaging. This one lives again in my handbag, um, and it's a little bit more intense colour. But actually, what I'm going to do today, because I am seeing people, I'm not just staying in the house, is using a lip liner. This is a really lovely, very wearable pinky brown from the Clarins Lip Pencil. Really like this one, and it just adds a bit more definition if all you're going to use is a tinted lip balm. 
I just love this so much. It reminds me of old school like revision techniques. You've also got a brown eyeliner pencil in there and then you just twist them to bring them out. You've got a black eyeliner and then a blue eyeliner as well. I've not used the blue one, um, but I just love the shade of the lip liner the most and it's obviously so handy having all four in one. And I personally lose eyeliners and lip liners so much. So to have them all in one pen makes me far less likely to lose them. So now my lips are lined and I'm just going to add moisture and color with my By Terry Naturismo. Is that what it's called? Nudissimo. So that's it, that's my everyday, very natural, easy makeup. I could do this in five minutes or probably less than that, um, but I've been chatting this morning and it took me a while to warm up after my coffee. I think if you compare me now to when I started 15 minutes ago, I am now alive. So I'm gonna get dressed, meet up with the girls, and we have a confidence masterclass this morning. So I'll see you shortly. So we're at the main manor house and it is time for, thank you, time for breakfast. Let me show you this spectacular setup for our breakfast this morning. Yeah. How cute is this? So cute. I see how the tables turn. I swear I will never learn that this life on it kills fire on, and I know that you'll get by. Yeah, I know that you'll be fine with that life on. I'll tie it down on. Sunday and I'm having a very crazy hair day. Chilly We're out for a very chilly morning walk in Windsor Great Park with all the fam behind and our two little cherubin. Dickie is Dickie lagging Dickie. behind. Dickie has had to have been carried for most of this walk. You've been carrying him so I think he's a little bit chilly isn't he? Yeah, I think he just gets tired really easy <laughs> doesn't he? You'd get tired if your legs were this big. He's not quite as fit as Dex. No. Look at these lovely pink houses. That is where so the pretty. Queen Mother used to live in there. Oh, I don't know if you're allowed to film them actually, because it's so royal Probably property. not, probably not. Probably not. There's some quite angry policemen that live in those. Yeah, uh, those they've gates. all got like the security detail. Um, but yeah, so we're just off for a nice walk before we're going to have a big roast when we get back. Outfit of the day is a bit mix and match. I've got my new River Island jumper. Da -da -da. Nice cosy roll neck and then I've got my sweaty Betty leggings, you're trainers. Okay and my cozy <laughs> Reese camel coat. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 